said someone like Merlin King, because he's, he's at a tournament very, very early. Um, he's always on the dartboard, and he, I, would, I would have said probably someone like Merlin King. Oh, goodness me. Um, I don't know. It's, it, it, <laughs> sometimes it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Um, a very difficult question, actually. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know who would be hard. Who would, who, who's a hard, hard, hard man? I don't know. I don't know. Very. I don't know. People like Chris Toby. I think he's a lovely actual. Nathan uh, Aspinall. He's a lovely kid. There. You know, his, his, his enthusiasm sort of rubs off in the game. Um, same with Toby as well. Young Chris Toby as well. You know, and they're youngsters coming through. That, that's why I like. That's why I like. I wouldn't want him a quiz team. There's quite a few, actually. <laughs> and to save embarrassment, I should not name the four or five that I've got in my head. I think we all know that. <laughs> I've got one or two officials that are, uh, you know, sort of long pockets and short arms. Well, Michael Van Gogh, obviously. Michael Van Gogh all day. Gary Anderson. Definitely, definitely them two that, you know, they can... Um, just bring it any time, and, and do. I mean, we've got a million and one nine darts going on at the moment, you know, everywhere from each of the tours as well. So at the end of the day, when you look at it that way, obviously anyone's capable, but more likely to, I would have said Michael and Gary. Um, probably someone like Paul Nicholson. If it, you know, Paul's very, very knowledgeable on an awful lot of things. Um, an awful lot of tour as well, but I mean, he, you know, he knows everything about everything, if you know what I mean. I would have said someone like Nicholson, I would have thought he's an intelligent type of guy. <music> Difficult because um, the guys wear dark shirts and things like that. Probably Steve Beaton, I would have thought he's, he's always, always gets up, he always looks polished, always looks nice and clean and fresh. <music> It's probably John McDonald, the MC. Me and John, uh, we're, we're very close friends. Um, we go away together, um, and even when we're at tournaments, we are, you know, we go out to dinners, and, and, and we're very, really close friends. Yeah, I would say John McDonald in that sense. In general, probably um, 1983 champion of the world, Keith Deller. He's uh, a very, very close friend of mine, him and his wife. And me and my wife, we go out to shows, and, and like I say, we're, uh, we're, re we're really all good buddies, and I've worked with him for know, coming on 20 years now, so. Uh, very close friends. I'll tell you who's one of the funniest people without probably without you realise it, someone like George Noble. He's really quick with his quips and all the rest of it. Um, and uh, he he is a funny, funny guy. He is a, he's a funny man from our perspective, from the from the official side of things. He's um, yeah, I, I, George George I would have thought would have been within our lot. He's he's quite a funny guy. George. <laughs> he can feel both of them. Well, if you're talking about dark players, it's got to be something like Dimitri, I would have thought. Dimitri Vanderbilt, he gets out there, he's got all the moves. And again, another young kid that's, um, you know, full of life, full of spring and all the rest of it. Devon, for a big lad, he can, he can swing his hips a bit, but uh, probably Dimitri, I would have thought. Um, a future world champion, that's a very, very good question. They've got a young lad, um, he's, not, he's only 13, a guy called Leighton Bennett, who I've worked with a couple of three times on various um, darts events. And um, oh dear, oh dear, that, that kid is so talented. At 13 years of age, he's amazing. He's a nine darter as well, so I mean, he is definitely a future champion. Um, within our system, I would have turned around and said, some, I still think Michael Smith certainly got a lot there. Um, again, he's not, you know, he's been around such a long time, the tent of things, and oh man, he's not, he's, only, he's still only a youngster. Of course, <laughs> Michael is only a youngster, he's only 30 or 30 years of age or whatever it is, you know. Um, these, you know, there's still many, many, many years left in, in all those guys. When you look at the likes of Barney, when you look at the likes of Phil, you know, 50s, uh, mid 50s, and all the rest of it, and still winning big tournaments. Um, yeah, definitely them type of guys, that's for sure. Well, Jeepers, 
when we very first, when I first started with the PDC in 1996, I can talk about 20 odd years ago, I roomed for 11 years with Phil Jones, who was the MC at the time, um, great friend of mine, and um, again, a real, real, real good laugh. Um, so I would probably have said Phil Jones, bless him, not with us anymore, he sadly died last year, but uh, Phil Jones, I would have said, would have been the best guy that I would have met. Mensa Sulevich will start always tries to leave 28, you know, so you've got things like that. Rob Cross will go odd ways round to end up on 36 or something like that, you know, with a tr use a treble 16 and things like that, um, or various other trebles to try and get to there. Michael Smith used to jump about a little bit, he's sort of straightened up a lot more now. Um, a lot of it's knowing what way the player goes as opposed to it being a wrong way. You know, if you've got something like 62, someone like James Wade will go treble 14, double 10, because he always likes 10s and tops. Um, you know, other players will go treble 10 to leave double 16, because that's their favourite. So it's, a lot of that's knowing the player. But um, all, good, all good funny ways, yeah, um, not to say. So Rob Cross can go some weird and wonderful ways. But he's that good, he hits it, you know, it's lovely. Thank you.